What is going on everyone? We've got a lot to discuss today, but we're going to make it fairly quick and we are going to get right into it just as soon as you uh, go ahead and smash that like button because it really pisses Ken Griffin off. Now, if you don't want to piss Ken Griffin off, if you do not want to push his buttons, then go ahead and don't smash that like button and uh, maybe you guys can be cool. Anyhow, if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and take this opportunity to do so because I drop content just like this every single day. Enough of that, however, we are going to get right into the video as I promised. So it should come as no surprise to you that today we're going to be talking about Ken Griffin and we're going to look at what he is up to. We're going to find out just what kind of a person Ken Griffin really is. Now, in order for me to make you really understand we're going to have to go back to that cold January of 2021. You know that cold January in 2021 when the buy button was taken away from us? Where the choice was taken from us and we weren't able to buy shares of our favorite stocks such as GME and AMC. And because of that, there was a bunch of downside pressure and those stocks fell. And the hedge funds basically uh, got their asses kind of saved. They still got their asses ripped apart. And we can take a look at an example of that by taking a look at Melvin Capital and what happened to them. And the reason I'm bringing up Melvin Capital specifically is because it's related to today's video. Now, what happened when Gabriel Plotkin and Melvin Capital Management Group, well, got their asses ripped apart? Daddy came in. Daddy stepped in to save Melvin Capital. But Daddy, of course, I'm referring to none other than Ken Griffin. And he uh, put down a about a $2 billion bet on Melvin Capital. Actually, it was kind of more like a bailout. And he was kind of saving his own ass by doing so. If you've been following his channel, then you understand this completely. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But that did actually happen. And when that happened... Ken Griffin spoke in public and said, hey, I wasn't bailing them out. I wasn't saving my own ass. What I was actually doing is uh, just taking the opportunity to invest. Yes, that's right. He said he was investing in Melvin Capital because it was a great company, and he now got it at a reduced price. Just to give you a little bit of background information for anybody that's new here, uh, that month alone in January, Melvin Capital lost 55% of its value simply because they uh, wagered against GameStop and AMC. So Ken Griffin, daddy, bailed them out, put $2 billion in there, and guess what happened next? By the end of the year, Ken Griffin has already taking, taken I'm sorry, a billion dollars back. And now he's taking back even more. Nearly the entire $2 billion bailout, I mean, investment, has been taken back. So look, a billion, that's nearly half of that $2 billion investment that King Griffin made. So why am I saying that he took back nearly the entire thing? Well, it's because this month, he took another $500 million back. What a freaking jerk. And the reason that I'm calling him a jerk is because this guy, he is loyal to no one. No one except for himself, to his own citadel, okay? Here's the deal. Remember, if we go back to that cold January in 2021, remember that Robin Hood was involved, okay? You could call Ken Griffin or Citadel kind of a client to Robin Hood. But Citadel, Ken Griffin were profiting immensely off of Robin Hood because of the PFOF, Payment for Order Flow. So when Robin Hood was allowing Citadel to do this, they were profiting immensely, but at the same time, so was Citadel. But what happened when the spit hit the fan? Let me tell you exactly what happened, and I think most of you already know. Robin Hood pretty much took the blame, okay? Robin Hood got the short end of the stick, and Ken Griffin, along with Citadel and his buddies, were all pointing the finger, the pointer finger, at Robin Hood, kind of, you know, shifting the blame onto Robin Hood, and Robin Hood took a fall. Just look at where Robin Hood's stock is at today. Now, don't get me wrong, Robin Hood is a piece of spit. 
the company Robinhood. They screwed their customers over, probably you. They screwed me over, which is why I no longer um, use them as a broker. But it was kind of messed up. You know, they are pieces of spit, don't get me wrong. But Ken Griffin completely shifted all of the blame and made it look like, oh, yeah, this is all Robin Hood's fault. So he's not loyal to Robin Hood. He made a lot of money off of them. But when it, you know, when it came down to it, he said, forget Robin Hood. Okay, now what's going on with Melvin Capital? He bailed them out to kind of save his own ass. You know what I'm talking about. But now that Melvin Capital isn't doing too well, what did he do? He pulls his investment from Melvin Capital. And he started this already last year by pulling that billion out. Now, $500 million this month. Hey! So, what the freaking freak is going on? I'm Guys, back. my sister's here. What in the hell happened? Hey guys. Where'd you come from? Um, the other side of the ring. She came from Ukraine. <laughs> she was fighting the war in Ukraine. She shot somebody, I think. Uh, I'm not meaning to make fun of that war because it actually, yeah, is very serious. It does affect the stock market. We will talk about that in another video. But all that matters right now is my sister's safe and she's here. So, uh, did you have anything to share with uh, the apes? So the move came when Melvin ended 2021 with 39% loss, and then in January, a 15% loss. Okay, so let me get this straight. Melvin Capital ended 2021 with a 39% loss, in January, a 15% loss. So Ken Griffin is basically like, hey, Melvin Capital is down. They were such a great investment when he put that $2 billion in, but now that they're down, he wants to kick them. Is is that how you would say it? He yes. wants to kick the crap out kick, of them? Kick them while they're kick down. Kick them while they're down. What a disgusting piece of spit. This is exactly why Ken Griffin is not allowed at our house anymore for family dinners. This is exactly why we did not invite him over for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Because he's a jerk. He's not loyal to anybody but himself. And it's a sad reality. So if you thought Ken Griffin was your friend, think again. He's not. He is a billionaire, and billionaires tend to be stingy. Not all of them. I've got some very good billionaire friends. But Ken Griffin ain't one of them, okay? So anyhow, guys, thank you for listening. This was the message that I had to deliver to you guys. My sister showed up and said hello and added to her two cents in. And now I think we can release y'all because we're done. And um, yeah, if you want to subscribe to her channel, by the way, link is in the description below. If you want to subscribe to this channel, if you're not already, make sure you do so or otherwise you're a jerk.